What's up YouTube? So today I got another video update for you guys. I will take a look at the crypto market. I will take a look at the BTC USD, BTC dominance and also a couple of interesting altcoins. I liked. So let's just get right into charts. All right. So first of all, we're going to take a look at BTC USD on Bitstamp. So we'll start off by taking a quick look at the weekly. So as always, I like to start my uh you know start with weekly time frame and uh, with the weekly candle closing in about in, in two days and 13 hours to be exact i would like to like first of all i would like to see the weekly close above these opening closes here uh, from the 11th of may and the 18th that would be good right closing below would be uh not necessarily bearish, but I would be more, you know, neutral on my view on Bitcoin if we get a weekly close below here. Uh, right now, the weekly isn't really that in, you know, interesting. I've, I've covered the, uh, I've already covered the weekly so many times before. And you guys, if you guys have been following me for a while, you should know why uh, this area up here between 10 point, uh, basically 10.5k, why that area is so important, right? So we're just going to head on right into the daily here. We're going to adjust the moving averages here on the daily, so the 21 up here. So I like to keep my uh, moving averages, the ones I like to watch uh, as horizontal lines, just to keep it uh, simple and clean on the chart. I do not really like the moving averages on the chart because it just gets so many, like the lower time. I, I don't like it. So I mark them out as horizontal, remove the moving averages, and I'm good to go. Right? So on a daily, uh, with this move here that we got here, we created a, a new higher high after creating higher lows, right? Uh, before this move here, we had lower highs, right? So I was getting word that we might have seen a, you know, we might be seeing the uh, start of a bearish break in market structure and the move down for Bitcoin. Now, I do think that, you know, this is looking very good the daily uptrend is very well in intact i do think this looks very good on the daily there's not much to say really i have two levels that i'm watching two very important levels and that's the area between basically it's this green area down here between uh, 9.1 and let's say 9.2 250 somewhere around that and also it's the 10.5k area so if we break below actually let's just say yeah let, let's just say 9.2 so if we break below the area around 9.2 i would be bearish on bitcoin for a move uh, much lower and if we break above 10.5k for bitcoin that's where I become high time frame bullish and uh, I look for a move much higher towards the you know 12 13 14k and even 20k region and the reason for that is basically it's very simple uh if we break 10.5k to the upside we have a potential new bullish weekly uptrend all right very simple let's go down to the four hour and on the four hour you will see that I've added this range here we're still inside this range right we are getting like a stair stepping motion here upwards towards the 10k area here we barely like we almost touched the 10k area uh yesterday right but got reacted right below range high that's obviously not a bullish thing to get reacted at range high after so many touches right but i do think that if we hold this area here around 9.6 or 9.7k we should see a move up towards 10k and i do really think as long as this daily trend keeps you know intact and the next move up will create an even higher high on the daily i do think bitcoin is going to break out here but i'm not in a position on bitcoin right now because we are trading right below high time frame resistance and i'm not really interested in buying high time frame resistance that's more like a area to sell but we've tested the high time frame resistance around 10.5 so many times already 
that it's not really safe to short that area without confirmation either. So what I mean by wait like without confirmation, what I would like to see is uh, before I look for a high time frame short, I would see like to see the 9.2k area break to the downside, and for high time frame longs, I would like to see 10.5k area break to the upside. So what I'm doing here is just you know taking it one level at a time, and right now we're seeing pretty nice structure here with price consolidating here around range EQ we broke out tested tested the area around range high we came down and tested range EQ we need to hold this area we need to move up and reclaim range high for the move upwards if we start trading down from the current prices and like this I'm gonna start to become very bearish because it's time for Bitcoin do th something here you can't be in a range forever and the longer we stay in this range up here the higher the probability of breaking down all right so that's uh, that's BC btc usd next i'm going to take a look at uh, the btc dominance and uh, basically what this is uh, is very simple it's a chart of how many percent of the crypto market is in bitcoin and hence the Bitcoin dominance chart, right? How much dominance does Bitcoin have overall in the overall crypto market? And you can chart this by looking at horizontal levels. And if the BTC dominance starts to fall, the alt altcoin market dominance will start to rise, which means that capital will start to flow out of Bitcoin and enter altcoins. So what you see here is a pretty steady downwards move from Bitcoin. And if you look at alts like XMR BTC, for example, you know, let's take a look at KMD instead. So if you look at KMD, uh, when BTC dominance started falling, KMD started rising. And this is pretty much how most of the alts look right now, right? So I'm going to take a closer look at KMD shortly and let's see if we can do some more analysis on BTC dominance here. So I, as you can see here, I've marked out this uh, uh, green zone here. As you can see here, we uh, broke above here, broke above here, bounced using it as support, came down, bounced here, broke down, resistance, resistance, broke up, small bounce, breakdown, breakout. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say here, right? It's a and important that's pretty much all i care about when uh, when shorting btc dominance just only horizontal levels and only the clear ones so yeah if we you know we, we we're most likely coming up for a, a retest here but if we fall over i'd see a bounce in this area as a likely scenario right and uh, that means we might be in for some nice gains on alts in the next couple of days or maybe up to a week. So we had a very nice altcoin window here, not an all season, but an altcoin window, right? So that's BTC dominance. Um, I'm gonna try to try to keep this as simple as possible and this market up this videos a little bit faster because I want to you know get as much information out as quickly as possible because i know i know you guys are busy you're, you guys are traders you have a busy life a busy trading life uh, probably it's uh, you know trading it's not easy it requires a lot of time and and a lot of effort right so i want to make these videos as quickly as possible so you can watch them you know when doing whatever right so i'm gonna try to keep them between 10 and 15 minutes which is probably not gonna be the case today because i'm already at nine minutes so I, the idea here is I've, 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 I'm thinking about starting a new uh, series, right? Where I do uh, market updates like two to three times a week on the crypto market. We're taking a look at uh, BTC and BTC dominance and alts. And I'm going to do another video separately with the Forex markets too. And uh, if you like that com uh, concept, please uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about that. And if you would uh, like to have the crypto market update embedded in the forex market what i would do first then is to first take a look at crypto and then forex so if you like to have them mixed or if you have like to have two different videos please let me know and i'll uh, figure something out all right so after btc dominance we are going to take a look at xmr btc good old monero so uh, i've got sharted out here that 21 EMA on the daily here 
and do like the fact that the 55 EMA on the daily the screen one is also up at this resistance area and we have the 200 simple confident with the lower part of this red box resistance up here so this is just very simple stuff right uh, looking at the lower time frames like the hourly I'm looking at a break out of this resistance above right the break out of this resistance retest for a move up to 200 simple on a daily now I've also got this level marked out here because it's confident with the 21 EMA in a daily and it's also the neckline of this W pattern that we have here very nice a horizontal level right and we do seem to have you know bounced off that area here and we're now moving up i do anticipate a possible move back down here and that could be a decent long entry right like this with a stop below this area and first take profit here and second take profit here the safest option here is definitely to wait for breakout long the retest for take profit up at the 200 simple looking at the daily chart the higher time frames on this one we have two interesting areas of interest. Let's look at the weekly and it becomes even more clear, right? So these are the levels I'm looking at. Take profit here, take profit here. And if we move higher, even a move up to this level is possible for a good 30% move. So what I would recommend is if you enter, um, like there, it's not a trade setup, it's just an idea for you guys, right? So if you enter, here I would exit with like um about you know 20% here 20% here 25% here and uh, or or 25 here 25 here 25 here and leave 25% open for higher prices with manually trailing or stop or using about like three commas or whatever where you can man uh, automatically move your stops up with price that's a good uh, idea to let your winners run and if you guys know, have been trading for a while you know the importance of really letting your winners run it's extremely important in, in in trading that you let the winners run so that the winners become more profitable than the losers losing money if that makes sense right so that your winners have to make more money than the losers will uh, lose you money and one very good way of doing that is taking partial profits on the way up when buying and not selling everything at the last take profit area. Just leave like 10 to 20% open and add a trailing stop. Either an automatically trailing stop with about like three commas, like I said, or uh, manually add, move your stops up. In another video, I will explain more in detail how to actually do that. Now let's take a look at Algo BTC. That's my next one. If you guys are wondering why I'm looking down all the time, it's because I have a note here with stuff that I'm uh, I, I, I wanted to look at. Uh, I can of course use the uh, built-in uh, watch list on uh, TradingView too, but I kind of like to like I've 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 I've, I've been I'm, you know I'm sitting working at the, my computer all the time. I'm writing in my 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 keyboard all the time. I like to like I I need to get better you know at you know writing with an actual pen and, and writing. So I like uh, you know using pen and paper. It's um just like it's it's kind of like a dying art. An art I'm not really good at. You should be see my handwriting. It's horrendous. That's what a keyboard will do to you. <laughs> All right, so this, this is Algo BTC, very, very straightforward, right? Um, I do think this really has some potential. You can clearly see uh, the levels marked out here for potential to take profits areas. I want to take profit at, uh, at the first trouble area. The first trouble area should be this area, right? Uh, and uh, with first trouble area, I mean the closest resistance above entry, where I expect price to run into trouble and trouble being giving it trouble moving higher resistance basically that's what i'm looking at go i would like to see because this is a high time frame trade i would like to have high time frame confirmation a daily open and close above 2618 sets very straightforward 20 percent profit at every tp level actually you know what this is like this move from here to here is pretty much a a moon bag so i'm i'm I, I would more likely take 25 percent off at each 
leave 25% open at take profit 3 for a possible move up to take profit 4 for a good almost 2x trade, a good 7.33R. Very nice. This is what I'm looking for. Now, let's take a look at Link BTC. Now, this is going to be the last one, and it's on schedule too. We're at 15 minutes. This is kind of like how long I want my videos to be because I want to, I want you guys to remain interested, right? And I know that you know, with a busy life and a lot lot of shit to do, you don't have the time to watch like an hour video, right? So I want to do this like I want to show the important things. What levels am I watching? What pa what 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 pairs am I watching? What's the interesting areas that I'm watching? And and I'm not going to go into like great super details in this market updates. That's going to be for my more educational content. This is going to be the quick and easy fast information that you guys uh, really want right so the daily on um, link p to c it's not this is not a clean shot this is not a clean shot very bad shot uh but I've, i got some interesting levels to watch the, the, this high time frame resistance up here this red box here i we are coming up to that area and we just got reacted from that area uh yesterday or the day before yeah on the day before yesterday we got reacted of this area and we're now moving down now I don't see a trade right here. I do not see a trade right here. Um, I mean, this could have been a pretty good trade. You have the, the high here and it came down and tested that area perfectly, right? As you can see here, that would be a you know pretty nice, pretty nice uh, trade, but uh, not really my cup of tea, if you will, because I there's no clear invalidation level here. Maybe above here, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. If it's not obvious, I'm not going to take it. But the obvious setup might come when this red box resistance is taking out and you might see a move up in first this area for a 15% move. And yeah, above that, I think it's all time high, right? I think it's price fucking discovery. Yeah, so Link is... God damn, look at this. Link B2C, what is wrong with you? How could you be this bullish? It, it's just crazy, guys. It's up and up and up and up get higher high lows after higher lows and right now we're coming at high time frame assistance break above this area good for a 15 percent move break above this area and i don't know man like how far will link go yeah i don't know all right so with that i'm going to leave you guys and thanks for watching today's video if you like this type of stuff uh these types of market updates let me know in the comments and if you want to see more stuff like this Please leave a, 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 a like and subscribe to my channel. It does so much more than you would imagine. And with more subscribers, I will be able to do more videos and more content for you guys. Because with more likes and more subscribers, you guys are showing me that you want more of, more of me and more of this. So that's what you guys are going. All right. Thanks for joining and see you next time.